What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. So I guess OnePlus is about to roll the first Android 12 aka Oxygen OS 12.1 for OnePlus 7 series. Because recently they have released the fifth closed beta update based on color OS for OnePlus 7 series. So in this video let's find out how stable it is to be used as daily driver. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here you can see this is my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I am running ColorOS 12.1 latest closed beta update. Talking about the software information, closed beta 5 comes with 5th June 2022 security patch and the build number is H.18. Basically I used this build for few hours and I did not find much issues. Yes, there are issues which I'll tell you in the later part of the video. Compared to previous builds, this build seems to be way better in terms of performance, animations and other things. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And now talking about the benchmark results, with single core device have scored 728 and with multi core device have scored 2569. Slightly lower benchmark results compared to previous build. With Antutu benchmark application, close beta 5 have scored 5,73,769. On the previous build scores were 5,78,669. No issues to be found with CPU throttling, max CPU throttled up to 91%. And if you guys wish to install ColorOS Close Beta 5, then you need to locally update all the builds starting from build 1. Even I did the same thing, directly installing Close Beta 5 gave me an error. And I'll also update you guys about the auto rotation issue, whether that has been fixed or not. So for that, I need to downgrade my device and check on Android 11 builds. So hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be updating you guys about the same thing. We still don't have the support of 90 FPS in games like Battlegrounds Mobile India. But we do have the support of Hyperboost feature. If you see the lobby graphics settings which are set to smooth and 90 FPS, still we only get 60 FPS in the game space app or you can say FPS meter. Most users had been reporting about Widevine L1 certification on closed beta updates. But here if you take a look at security level, it says L1. So I personally won't have any kind of issues watching full HD content on OTT platforms. If you take a look at the change logs, change logs are related to system and notes application. Wherein with the first change log, they say they have improved the system stability. And yes, guys, I personally found out close beta 5 build is way better compared to the previous builds. No jitters or lags to be seen till now while using the device. After that, OnePlus also says they have optimized the charging speed. But I personally did not find out any kind of improvements in the charging speed. So here you can see I did a charging test wherein I kept my device at charge when the battery percentage was 15% and the time was 141. Exactly after one hour battery percentage was 85% and even after one and a half hour the battery percentage was only 93%. So still slow charging issues are seen on closed beta builds also. And this is not only the case with OnePlus 7 series on stable builds of Oxygen OS 12.1 we have seen slow charging issues on OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9 series. After that, they have also fixed the vibration issues while incoming calls in some scenarios. So right now on this build, I don't find any kind of issues with vibration stuff whenever we receive any call. After that last fix is related to notes application wherein some users might have faced issues of losing notes whenever they used to insert any image. Though I wasn't able to test out this thing properly. So here I have saved a note and will check out after some time if this note gets deleted or not. If this thing gets deleted, I'll update you guys in the comment section below. And as always, I won't recommend you guys to install any closed beta updates on your devices because these things are completely meant for testing purpose. But if you are the one who knows how to unbreak your device, if anything goes wrong, then you can anytime install this update. But as per my experience, within next week, we'll get the first beta update for OnePlus 7 series. So guys, this was a quick look on the latest build of ColorOS 12.1 closed beta update for OnePlus 7 series. If you have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.